Okay, welcome back to Pokemon Radical Red for the fifth episode of this Nuzlocke. Um, somebody pointed out, I just want to say this right at the start, somebody pointed out that um, you can get an encounter down there, and I, it's so funny because I literally realized right after I finished recording, I kept playing and I did all the SSN stuff, because there's no rival battle on there, it's literally just a few battles. Um, it's just kind of handy to level up. So I did all of the battles on there and got the few items. Um, and as I came back through, I was like, oh, you can get a fishing encounter there. It's only Magikarp and it's kind of cheap. I think the comment even mentioned it on the last video. It's kind of a cheap encounter. I didn't get it. I, I completely forgot. It was until I went back through and I was like, oh, you can fish there. <laughs> and it is an area called SSN, I think. But I didn't get it. Um, so the only thing that's changed is a lot of levels and some evolutions. So Riga is all the same at level 34. Uh, I don't think he's learned any new moves. I think that's all the same. Phil evolved. Phil now has Pestle Dance. I think that's the only change. Maybe Sludge. Potentially. Uh, we have Zap. Finally evolved to fully evolved. We have an Ampharos and Thunder Punch. It's not the best because we're more of a special attacker. Wow, I forgot how bad. <laughs> I forgot how bad the IVs were there. Uh, and Confuse Ray? I think Confuse Ray is new. Uh, Nopal evolved. Not by Leaf Stone, right? That's... That must be a level up thing. I, <laughs> I should really record these after I finish doing them and not do them and then wait. Anyway, uh, Sucker Punch is, is definitely new. The other Spiky Shield is new. Spikes is probably new. Chance is all the same. Oboe evolved. Bullet Punch, Swagger, Payday, and Iron Head. And that is it for this team. Um, that's the team that I think I'm going to be using for Brendan, which is the next big battle we've got. Uh, I'm kind of scared, but we might be okay for it. Uh, Chomp didn't evolve, right? <laughs> I think Chomp was already a Gabite, but got some good moves. Uh, Iggy is still the same. Stake, still not evolved. Actually, all of our fire types remain just hanging out in their uh, original forms. Luna's up to 34. Iguatsu evolved. Uh, more usable than it was, for sure. She can she can put in some work. And Yuka's up to 34. That's it. So that's all the, that's all the team we have right now. Uh, still only three deaths, which is crazy. For me and this game, only three deaths at this point is insane. We will probably be adding to that in this episode. I, I don't really have anything to do. We can't get any more encounters until I battle Brendan, which will happen when I walk over there. Um, I don't think we're going to do Surge today. I think I can go back and battle Bugsy now, after this one, and I'll explain why when I get to it, because I think I've got a strategy. But for right now, we're going to do this one. Oh, hey FJ, it's been a while. I've snacked two badges since we first met. You too, huh? I thought so. Let's put each other to the test. So, Brendan... His team is good. But I think... I think we'll be okay. He leads off with his Loudred. Who has Hyper Voice, Brick Break, Ice Beam, and Shadow Ball. And Punk Rock, which I think... Raises the power of sound-based moves? Or I'm making that up. Uh, it's also got the berry that weakens the power of fighting type moves, but this should still do a lot. Uh, I don't know how much Hyper Voice is going to do. It's not going to knock me out, but it might. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so this isn't going to kill because of that berry, but it should do. Uh... Okay, it's over half. Um, that is enough for what my main plan is here, which is I think Oboe is going to be very helpful because we've got bullet punch and pretty good defenses and HP and a good typing and um, shit, what's the what's the ability? I forgot what it's called, battle armor, which blocks critical hits so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so I presume hyper voice is coming so we can just switch in, take that easily, bullet punch to finish it. Because we've got good attack and we've got a priority move. In this game, priority moves are everything. I will take advantage of them wherever I can, because they are incredibly helpful. 
Okay, so that's one down. <sighs> Presumably, I don't know who comes next. Crawdont? Okay, Grovile. Uh, Grovile has Power Up Punch, which is presumably what it's going to go for. Aerial Ace, Leaf Blade, and Rock Tomb. Uh, it's not going to go for Aerial Ace. Even if it does, I don't think it's going to do that much to fill. Really, we've got, like, prime fill right now. <laughs> because we're just fully evolved. So we're going to be taking on a lot of Pokemon that aren't. Uh, I think even Aerial Ace isn't going to do that much, so I'm just going to stay in and sludge. Which must one-shot. Why would you go for power-up punch again? Okay, well that's a free one. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't go for Aerial Ace there. It's pretty rare. Honestly, I do feel like the AI usually makes good decisions. really don't know why you would go for power-up punch there instead of Aerial Ace. Okay, Lunatone, this is why we've put Nopal in the team, because <laughs> what I figured out is what I mostly need is Pokemon who may- they, they might not have super effective moves, although Nopal does in this case, but Pokemon I can switch into who are immune or resist attacks that my other Pokemon are weak to. You'd think I would have figured that out before, but this run is really teaching me balance. So we can get past that. We do have Sucker Punch, but Brendan's Lunatone has Calm Mind, and I think it's going to go for that. So either way, I'm going to go for Mega Drain first. If it doesn't go for Calm Mind, we'll switch over to Sucker Punch. In fact, even if it does go for Calm Mind, we'll probably switch to Sucker Punch, because I can't see it going for more than one. Okay, that was good. So it's going to go for that. We can get this off. Uh, it does actually have Culber Berry, which might be Dark-type resistance. I didn't look. I assume that's Dark-type resistance. It might still kill. Even if it doesn't, this thing is not going to one-shot with Power Gem, I don't think. I can't see that happening. Okay, it did attack, and that is the Dark Berry. <laughs> I didn't actually know. Oh, that's unfortunate. This isn't going to kill, though. Uh, so this is good, because we got Sucker Punch. It, it can't get around us now. There's no way it can get past us, because we're just going to keep Sucker Punching. So it's got to attack eventually. Okay. So, just Crawdont left now. We did see the first battle with him. He had his Corefish. Uh, this thing's pretty scary. But, we have a good balance here because this thing has X Scissor, which it's obviously going to go for. Which means we can switch into Riga. Riga is low health. But we can switch into Riga knowing surely the AI goes for it here. You're not going to go for a not a quad effective move. I'm I'm relying on the AI to make the correct decision and go for X Scissor. Because I want to get Intimidate off because this thing hits pretty hard. Okay, Intimidate. You gotta go X Scissor. You've got to. Okay. <laughs> I was going to lose it if it didn't. And the good thing is, this might be risky. I didn't really plan for this. We could go back to Nopal. Because it's presumably going to go Waterfall, and I don't think there's any way Waterfall kills, not after an Intimidate. Um, the reason I say that is because if we go to Nopal, and it goes for Waterfall, we can go back to Riga. And get another Intimidate off, while it goes for X Scissor. And I think it will. I'm going to do it. I, I want, I'm so keen to get through these battles without any losses. Okay, I don't- this can't kill- there's no way this kills. You'd be really bad if this killed, okay. <laughs> Even a crit would not have killed. Now again, I'm relying on you to go for X Scissor. You've got to. You can't not go for X Scissor. Please go for X Scissor. Please. Okay. We're pretty much in the clear here. I could do it again. That seems unnecessarily risky. Do I do it again? We know it's not going to kill. We just saw what Waterfall can do. I, well, now I'm just playing with fire here, because if it crits, then we're dead. Okay, just, just don't crit. This was so dumb. Well, I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, at this point, we know it's going to X's, or we may as well just... <laughs> we may as well get a third, 
play it safe, make sure it's definitely not going to kill anything. And then we can just be happy with... Oh, God. No, no, it still doesn't. Okay, okay, okay. It didn't go for X's at that time. Let's stop playing around with this. Both of these Pokemon are about to die. Uh, Phil, I don't really have any worries anymore. This thing only has physical attacks. This should do almost nothing. What are we on? 97? 11, okay. Um, I could go for Pedal Dance, but I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to Mega Drain. That could hurt a bit, but not... Okay, yeah, that's that probably would have been a one-shot without any Intimidates. Whew, okay. This might kill? No. Okay, yeah, we needed to weaken this thing a bit before properly trying to battle it, because it's pretty scary. This thing hits incredibly hard, and we needed to take advantage of Intimidate. But there you go. Another battle without a loss. I'm getting too used to this. It Honestly, it does help seeing what moves our opponent has. <laughs> You're seriously just a step ahead of me. It's admirable, really. I've got another useful item for you, my friend. Ooh, Lucky Eggs. That is nice. The Lucky Egg speeds up training significantly. I hope you put it to good use. Well, it's back to training for me. Thanks for that, FJ. You're welcome. Why just two? You'd think it would be one or, like, six. Uh, two just seems odd. Okay, so we actually have two encounters now, uh, which we may as well do. Whitney is over here. I've never actually battled Whitney, but um, I'm kind of terrified. Her team just looks incredible, so I don't really want to do that, but I will do these two encounters. Uh, I should probably go and heal. <laughs> I got, like, Pokemon up front with, like, nine HP. So let's go and heal. And then we'll do those two encounters, and then I think we can go back and try that Bugsy battle. Because I really want U-Turn. U-Turn is so valuable. Also, I checked. None of my team can learn Flip Turn. Which is <laughs> it's kind of kind of rude. I, I thought Glycopod at least would be able to, but apparently not. Okay. Uh, do we have enough Pokeballs and stuff to do these encounters? 10, 7, 4, 5. Yeah, we should be. Should be grand. Uh, what do we need? Like a ground type? I mean, we're going to get a ground type in here, surely. Uh, do we want... No, there's no way there's level 34. Is there a level 34? I was going to say, could we put up a repel and get something, but everything in my team is level 34, so probably not. What, what are the levels in there? Usually up to 32. I just wanted to see what this was. Strange Den exuberates power. Drowsy. Okay, let's go and grab... I don't think it's just Diglett in here. I mean, it will be on screen right now i don't know i don't see it because i i haven't put it on screen yet but i assume there's something beyond diglett and doug trio in here but i actually have no idea i can't really remember ever i've already got this encounter damn i just realized i've already got this encounter right <laughs> it's good that i remembered that before i ruined this whole run by cheating uh but i have got this encounter already i forgot that you can get I've never made it this far since they introduced um, Diglett's Cave on the other side. I just remembered. Damn it. Okay. Uh, well, that's fine. We got Geodude here. Alolan Geodude. Oh, there's a thing in here. What is this? It is Diglett, probably. Oh, um... Stonjourner? Okay. I completely forgot what it's called for a second. Rest? Hmm... That would kind of scare me in this game. Unless we get something incredibly tanky. I'm just trying to make sure this is in fact. That does still count as Diglett's Cave. Uh, is this going to be the same trade? Is it going to be... Are you not the trade? Okay, it is. Uh, we do not have Abra, so no, I do not want to do that trade. Probably would, if I could. Can I cut yet? Do I have cut? Oh, I do have cut, okay. Uh, this is still called Diglett's Cave, yes. This is called Diglett's Cave. Okay, so we have Diglett's Cave. Uh, that's kind of unfortunate, but... Uh, we can live with it. Um, is there anything down here that we want to do? I've never... I don't think I've ever been this way in Radical Red, so I don't know if they've added anything. Uh, but I may as well check. I can't remember what you get in here, but I'm sure it's something. I want Professor Oak's AIDS. If your Pokedex has complete data on 10 species... Eh, hey, you know what? I don't care. Just take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they couldn't edit that 
Because I know in randomizers and stuff, it only counts like original 151 Pokemon there, um, which can make it kind of complicated, I guess. I think there was an item down here. Charge Beam. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take that. Um, I don't know why I'm putting repels up still. I mean, it saves time later. Empty? Why is that empty? Have I done that somehow? I can't have done that. I have no idea why that one's empty. I've never seen an empty den prior to it being done. Maybe it only pops up later in the game or something. Um, but yeah, we are going well. No deaths in this episode. Oh, there's the... Oh, how do I get to that thing then? I figured... Oh, how on earth do you get... Oh, with Rock Smash. It's so weird that Rock Smash must be like a late... HM or TM, whatever it is, in this game. Do you have anything to say out of interest? I went inside Rock Tunnel, but it's pitch black and scary in there. If I could get a Pokemon to use Flash and light it up, I've, I've got a Pokemon. And I've got Flash. You you can have mine. But you need to give me something better in return, actually. I don't I don't want to just do it for nothing. Um, okay, so we don't have two encounters. <laughs> we have one encounter. Uh, and it's going to be a presumably not ground type. I'll throw up the Route 11 encounters right now, while we're just plopping around this tunnel. Um, I want the third one. Do I want the third one? Who knows? No idea what it is, but uh, let's hope for something good. We don't have the best team for Surge. We have an okay team. Um, I do like Gabite. Gabite could be interesting. But for the most part, oh, Jesus Christ, you couldn't pick a less helpful Pokemon. It, at least the only thing I can say for it is it might evolve before, I mean, it's got Frisk as well, that's kind of nice. But it might evolve before we get to the gym, but that doesn't really matter because I definitely will not be using it. Um, <sighs> I can't really imagine anything could be worse than Ducklet. Uh, maybe Wingull, just because I like it less. But yeah, it's not exactly a water flying type that I was looking for. Uh, giving it to Ducklet. Um, sure, this is... Uh, Ka... Ka... Kaleo. This is Kaleo. Kaleo the Ducklet. Um, that is unfortunate. Really would have liked something better. So... Uh, Whitney is over here. I'm not going to battle her. I also don't want to battle anyone else. I'll do them off screen mostly. Um, her team is just crazy good. I can't even think... I know someone's told me before what you get for battling her. Uh, is it leftovers? Maybe it's leftovers. I think it's leftovers, which obviously would be good. Also, I just realized Battle Toy is here. That is frustrating. Is there anything in this rock? Ooh, okay. Don't do that. Um, yeah, we will not be battling her. Certainly not yet. Uh, oh god, why am I so slow on this grass? I was moving really weirdly slowly there. Work up is kind of nice. Is there anything here? No, okay. Uh, let's go past you. That's you. Grab this. I, I do- Oh my god, we got a Firestone! Okay, that's good timing. That's really good timing. And Soft Sand, okay, nice. Finally, I wonder why the Firestone is such- Oh my god, are you serious? Golet as well? <sighs> I can't believe we just got Ducklet. Oh, that is so cruel. I mean, you're going to see how cruel it is, because I assume you've seen the encounters. Why is it going so slow? It's like, really... What's happening? It was, like, moving really weirdly slowly. Um, That's kind of painful. Let's go and look at Ducklet. Maybe Ducklet is S on everything. That's pretty much the only way it can make up for this. Because uh, at least it will be useful at some point. I mean, it's a flying time. Oh, actually, if I was bothered, I would level it up for this battle. I mean, it is as fast as it can possibly be, but it is still quite slow. Um, It's actually really good for this Bugsy battle, but it's massively underleveled, and I don't want to take like an hour break to level this from 23 to 34. Um, but I, I suppose we should probably go and evolve this thing. Uh, or, or should I just wait? No, I assume Firestones will be purchasable by the time we reach, uh, 
sell it on, so I may as well just evolve this thing. I mean, you gotta give it credit. It hung on this long, mostly because it hasn't been in the team very much, but <laughs> still, it hung on. It deserves its chance to evolve. I This is my assumption that um, Ponyta is still a level 40 evolution and it's not changed to Firestone. I really hope it hasn't, uh, because that would be unfortunate. Okay. That kind of helps right in time for this Bugsy battle, and I will show you why, because my strategy kind of relies on a fire type. That is interesting. How good is that? 75? Oh wow, we've already got... You have a good moveset. Hmm. Uh... I mean, there's no point in keeping Flame Burst, is there? It's just the same move, but five weaker, and with no added effect. Okay, uh, that is good. How much better than Ponyta are you? Because I was planning to use Ponyta. Uh, so how much better are you? I presume quite a lot. And this is nice, you know, it gives it gives Stake a chance to, like, shine before Ponyta evolves and presumably takes over the role of the main fire type. Although we've got Erica, not so far away. So, we're very possibly going to need multiple fire types. Oh, that is unfortunate. Oh, you're actually no better. No, I, I'm going to definitely keep Ponyta. Ponyta's not as fast, actually, but the attack is better. And you're spe you got special... Well, you do have acrobatics, actually, which could also be good. Uh, maybe you'll both be in the team. You'll probably both be in the team. Um, I might just jump forward to Cel uh, Cerulean, so that I don't have to walk all the way back, and I'll have the right team by the time I get there, because otherwise I'll just be, like, messing around in the box for ten minutes and fixing items. Let's just jump ahead. Alright, I... I've been more confident in the past, but I think we might be able to do this without any deaths. I've actually... I don't really know why Chance is here. Do I want Ponyta? No, I, th I think I'm going to stick with Chance just because Chance is a good switch to have. Um, so the strategy is, we're leading with Chomp, who's got Sandstorm. Because the biggest issue in this battle is that it's raining, and it makes it really difficult to deal any damage with Fire-type moves. So at least for the start of the battle, we can put up a Sandstorm and try and get one knockout with Fire. Um... I think we can get him to switch out of the Ariados that he leads off with. And then we, we can maybe get a knockout. Um, the rest, stake is kind of obvious. No item because we've got acrobatics and this is a bug type trainer. And acrobatics, I think it just makes more sense to have no item and power up acrobatics than it does to put on wise glasses and weaken acrobatics. So. That's the strategy there. Riga's got Intimidate. Therefore, Riga basically always has to be in the team. Chance can take a hit. Oboe's just got a good typing. Um, and also can take a hit pretty well. And then Iguatsu is only there because she's got a priority move. I would rather have a second priority move than have another fire type. I just think it makes more sense. So, that's the team. I'm kind of worried. Uh, we've gotten quite a lot, like, since Brock, we haven't had a death, which, honestly, for me in this game is absolutely crazy. I, I can't even explain to you how <laughs> terribly the runs usually go. Is that an item? Did I get that item? I assume I did. I did. Um, yeah, this is a pretty scary battle, but let's, let's give it a go. Gotta love seeing public displays of affection while I'm single during quar- and team. Oh, I thought that was gonna be- <laughs> That was gonna be him pausing, um, because he saw that we were there. No. Oh, didn't see you there. I hope you can disregard what I just said. The name's Bugsy. Oh, you've met my colleague Faulkner, too? Yeah, the jo Jota gym leaders- Oh, God. Yeah, the Jota gym leaders decided to pay a visit- I, I can't read. Yeah, the Johto gym leaders decided to pay Kanto a visit as there have been talks of a lot of new cutting-edge technology being researched here. Well, since you're here, I'm assuming you want to battle. 
Yes. Don't consider me weak just because I use bug types. I'll show you how fearsome they can be. Oh, God. This Ariados that he leads off with is honestly horrifying. I, the first time I ever battled Bugsy, I went into this so, like, confident, overly confident. I didn't even reach the level cap, and his Ariados wiped, like, half my team. Um, so the strategy is, get Sandstorm up right away. We are faster, so hopefully we can even get a dodge because of Sand Veil. No, we can't. That's okay. Um, I was kind of hoping we would get the dodge, but that's fine. I, I forgot we had a Citrus Berry on. <laughs> Bit of a pointless Citrus Berry. But, again, it's going to go for Bug Bite, so that's good. We know it's going to go for Bug Bite, so we can switch into Riga, get off the Intimidate. What I'm actually trying to do here is I'm trying to get him to switch his Ariados out. Um, and I think he will, because we've just Intimidated. And now, because Riga is part Fairy, uh, let me just check that that's actually the truth, because I've forgotten. Yep, Fire or Fighting, no, or Fairy Fighting. So... Definitely going to go for Poison Fang. So let's go into Oboe. And then once we get into Oboe, Ariados can't really do much. So I could stay in and attack. But I think Bugsy switches here. Because there's not really anything Ariados can do. And we're already intimidated. So Stake is just pretty much a good switch for whatever he sends out. I would love it to be Scizor, but I suspect it's going to be probably Scyther, but that's still okay. Um, I want to get off a fire attack while the Sandstorm is up. Okay, perfect. Scyther? Scizor, even better. Okay, that's a guaranteed KO, because for some reason his Ledian has a Focus Sash instead of his Scizor. I would have put it on Scizor for this strategy, but maybe that would have been too difficult. There's no way Bullet Punch kills. A Mystical Fire just kind of has to. It doesn't even have the berry that reduces fire type attacks. Maybe that would have just been too difficult. Okay. So Scizor is down. This is perfect. <laughs> it's a great start. Uh, the Sandstorm finishing is kind of painful, but we do still have um, Acrobatics. And we must outspeed this thing. We're faster than Gabite, so we have to outspeed. Okay, well Shadow Sneak is fine. That shouldn't do too much. Nope, almost nothing. That's got to be a one-shot. Okay. Is it going to be the Ledian next? The Ledian is now um, bug fighting. But it's got the Focus Sash. So we're not going to one-shot. But nothing it has is going to hurt us. Is he going to U-turn out into... His Scyther? Maybe? Possibly. You might U-turn out into the Scyther. I mean, basically, no matter what here, we have to go for Acrobatics. There's no point in switching. Unless we were trying to out-predict... What, like, what do we want in for the Scyther? I mean, arguably, we want Stake in for the Scyther. Although, Scyther will outspeed. And we will die. To pretty much any hit, because it has Technician. Um, and it's got Aerial Ace and Bug Bite, which are both 60 power, which means it's got two stab moves that are 90 power, which makes them 135 power, basically, and it's already got high attack. Uh, but Acrobatics, hopefully it doesn't, I would almost rather it doesn't switch here. Go for Rise, go for Mock Punch or something? No, it didn't go for Mock Punch. Drain Punch? I don't know what I wanted to do. Okay, well... What was the plan for Scyther? <laughs> Did I have a plan for Scyther? Um, right, well, it's going to go Aerial Ace. So we may as well go to Oboe. Who can take that? Uh, question is, what is the strategy from there? I don't know. Okay, it's going to Aerial Ace. Um, it might Brick Break from here. I actually think we live Brick Break because it's not Stab. And it doesn't come under Technician, because it's higher than 60 power. So I think we live one, but I think it's gonna Sword Stance, which gives us a few options. We could Swagger. The problem is, if I Swagger, and he Sword Stances, 
and then he doesn't hit himself in confusion, we're swept. There's no way we don't get swept. And I'm so scared of that, that I think I just have to play it safe. I don't really see a way that something doesn't die here. Um, we only really have one turn to attack. If we aren't planning to get swept, I think something has to die. I'm trying to like figure this out in my head. I can't see a way that something doesn't die here. I'm pretty sure he's going to sword stance. So do we... Am I okay sacrificing Oboe? Because I don't think Bullet Punch will two-shot. But I think if we hit two Bullet Punches, Scyther will be in range where a Sucker Punch will kill. Um, although in that case, it makes more sense to Iron Head and then Bullet Punch. But Iron Head could miss. How do I check? No. How do I check what this move does? I know there's a way. I can't remember what it is, though. There it is. Uh, nope, that's not it. Uh, this one? There we go. Oh, it's 100% accurate. Okay, so it can't miss. So we should just go Iron Head. Um, because I, I'm just too scared to risk Swagger. Because, I, honestly, getting swept because I <laughs> increased the opponent's attack really feels like something I would do. So I'm going to play safe. I'm going to Iron Head. Okay. Yeah, Swagger, it could have been great if we had Swaggered here and we had got the damage we needed. It would have been great, but I just don't... I just don't see me getting that luck. So we've got... I could Iron Head and hope Brick... There's no way Brick Break doesn't kill now. Not with Swagger. With Swagger, Brick Break is going to kill. Uh, so we've got options. Actually, is that the option? Do we switch in Iguatsu, who will definitely live a Brick Break? Because you resist. And it's not Stab. And you have massive defense. <sighs> it's not a free switch, though, is it? I don't see the point in not doing this. So I'm going to switch in Iguatsu. And then we can get off Sucker Punch and see if Sucker Punch kills. Because uh, we can take this hit very easily. Oh, but we can't take Aerial Ace. Right. Uh, well, I'm kind of locked into this now. We just kind of have to attack and hope it kills. Will it kill? It could kill. I don't know what Scyther's defenses are like. Um, <laughs> I mean, the other option is we just switch back to Oboe, who can take another Aerial Ace, probably. Uh, but that's not helping us, so I think we just have to go for Sucker Punch and cross our fingers and hope it kills, because Aerial Ace is absolutely going to. Come on, Sucker Punch. Oh, can you live that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I made a mistake here. I couldn't think what to do, but we do win from here. Bullet punch kills. It can only, I mean, it could just keep going for swords dance, but it doesn't really help it much. Okay. Um, was that a mistake? Did I make some mistakes there? Very possibly. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if I could have done that better. Oh, I forgot the Ledian is still here, but Ledian's on 1 HP. <laughs> so that's fine. Uh, completely forgot Ledian was still here, but Ledian's on 1 HP and we've got Bullet Punch, so we're fine. Um, that crit, real necessary for that one hit point. Uh, was that a mistake? Did I make a mistake there? Maybe? God, now I'm not just single. I'm a freaking loser, too. Yeah, but you killed a Pokemon. Frankly, I'm a bit disappointed in myself. I've been feeling lonely, so my mood's down. Hey, don't look at me like that. Well, I'll give you a, my signature TM. Perhaps that'll give you a higher opinion of me. Okay, U-turn is really nice. Uh, although I did just kill the best Pokemon to use it. Maybe you need to bail. So rather than just switching, you can pop a U-turn. It's great for keeping momentum too. I'm feeling generous today, so you can have these extra freebies too. Oh, thank you. Um, anywho, it's nice meeting you, but I can't handle more of this. Romantic scenery. Oh my God, I'll be taking my leave. I, I don't know, that, that didn't feel great. I feel like we could have done better there. That might, I don't know. 
I'm just trying to think, like, what could I have done? What was a better move for the Scyther? Uh, because the Scyther is holding a Charity Berry. So, it it's not going to go down to any Rock-type move, really. Uh, which is why I didn't bring Graveler. Um, maybe I should have brought Graveler. Maybe that was it. Graveler does have Sturdy. But Graveler's slow, so Graveler can't really do much with Sturdy. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um... I don't know. I don't think I made any massive mistakes, but I, we did have one loss. But honestly, one loss over the, those two battles is <laughs> a pretty significant improvement on what I usually manage. I'm not. I'm not too mad about that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. That feels like it's probably going to be over half an hour. Those battles were reasonably long. Maybe uh, we will have surge in the next episode, I guess. And hopefully it won't be the end of the run. We're still going strong. We still got like, what, 15-ish Pokemon? More than that, maybe 20? We got quite a few Pokemon. Uh, about 17, I think. And yeah, thank you. I will see you next time.